A Topeka Quilting Guild highlighted local artists who want to show the community what they can do with a show this afternoon. 13's Brent Palmer went to Bringing Life to Art and saw cozy works that brought people together on this rainy afternoon. Yes, Callie. I was able to experience a number of well-made quilts that told stories and showed the artistry of our local community. Quilters Guild is a fun place to get encouraged to be creative and I think we're going to do some things as a family as a result. The Kansas Capital Quilters Guild held a quilt show called Bringing Life to Art. Many of the pieces focused on this subject. It's an opportunity for people to see 150 quilts that our guild has made. Um, from There's one that's hand quilted, all the rest of them are machine quilted. They're quilted by about 60 different people. Uh, there's a few long arm quilters that are professionals and then a few people that just do it on their own machines at home. One of the quilters, Kathy Menzi, draws inspiration from the world around her. I take a photo and then I blow it up really big and then I work from the photo in order to create a quilt. Uh, again, just using little tiny pieces of fabric. If I can do something, you know, interesting to the fabric, I, I try and do that. The quilt show also had a couple of places to shop, as well as a silent auction that benefited the YWCA's Center for Safety and Empowerment. The show put local quilters on a pedestal. I'm in awe of quilters. They have tremendous perspicacity. They can take an idea and make it a beautiful heirloom that's enjoyed for generations. If you're interested, the Kansas Capital Quilters Guild meets the second Tuesday of the month in the evening at the Women's Center. We will provide more information on WIBW.com. Brent, thanks. Lots of local artists on display today. A well